The John Smith's Handicap Hurdle is next, and if this is any, anywhere near as good as the John Smith's Handicap Chase was, it'll be a pretty good race. It's just a field of 12, though, this time. Over these smaller obstacles, and it's 0 to 140 instead of 160. At the top, we've got a wrecking strand for David Robertson, Kinvara Windmill, Martin Lidham, Banana Boat, Graham Clutterbuck, Magellan, Kevin Minahan, San Jose, Buddy Vinnie Gerard, Sharifa, February, Stu Gray, Blue Ribbon, Kevin Minahan, Spectacular, Joshua Sutherland, Diamond Geezer, Graham Clutterbuck, Limelight, Craig Beckwith, and Alex Cherry's got the bottom two, Big Swizzle, and Nanina Tramp. So, plenty of previous winners this season in this one. And called in and ready to go and away they go and three greys closest to us as well as they get to the first and they're all safely over that first although Kinvara windmill was a bit untidy at the background because has got two of the greys Diamond Geese was the one that's in front of Banana Boat at the minute Stu Gray's got the third one Sharifa February but at the moment it's spectacular who shows the way for Joshua Sutherland leading by three lengths to Limelight on the outside in second in comes Wrecking Strand Diamond Geezer, big swizzle is after that one. Looking towards the back, Blue Ribbon is just the back marker, but they're pretty tightly grouped with the exception of the leader who's got a three length lead over the rest of them. They've already successfully negotiated two of the nine flights, so seven left to go. This is the third of them, and took a bit of a dive at it there, the David Robertson horse wrecking strand, but it's spectacular it's in the lead then from Magellan in second, then Diamond Geezer down this near side is third, then there's a line of about five or six of them after that. And then looking towards the back, Sharifa, February, Big Swizzle, and Limelight, just the back marker. So past the winning post then, with a complete circuit of the track to go. And Spectacular has the lead by about three. To Diamond Geezer in second. Kinvara Windmill, after that slow start, has moved through into third. Then comes Blue Ribbon in fourth. Continue on their way around past all the enclosures and stands and things and off out on the complete circuit. Spectacular is the leader and by about four to Blue Ribbon in second, Invara Windmill third, then come the three greys, Diamond Geezer, Sharifa, February and Banana Boat, San Jose Buddy on the outside of them, then Miguel and then Rick and Strand, the Alex Cherry Perry towards the back, Nanina Trump and Big Swizzle and they've got Limelight for company in between them but it's spectacular who's showing the way by a couple of lengths to the novice Kimvara Wimble in second as they get over the fifth then comes Miguel and San Jose Buddy is next then Sharifa February Blue Ribbon and Wrecking Strand are getting closer as they get over the sixth that just leaves three more flights to take and this race has not been Long in getting to the business end of it, has it? It's uh, gone lickety split and spectacular. He's showing the way in front from Rick and Strand, San Jose Buddy, Kimvara Windmill sticking on the inside, Sharifa February being pulled out for a run, then McGannon, Diamond Geese are just being trapped in a bit of a pocket, big swizzle with that one as they take the third last, and over that one they go, and spectacular, still in the lead from San Jose Buddy second, Rick and Strand being pushed along, Diamond Geese are looking for racing room, Kimvara Windmill just hit a bit of a flat spot being overtaken by McGannon, and Banana Boat's also coming through there so too is Limelight, they've only got two more to take and it's spectacular in the lead, being pressed by San Jose Buddy, Diamond Giza trying to come between the two of them as they race down towards this second last flight then and over it they go and San Jose Buddy landing in the lead here comes Big Swizzle throwing down a big one on the outside, then Spectacular and McGill and Diamond Giza still there as well but it's San Jose Buddy over the final flight in the lead from Spectacular on the inside Big Swizzle, McGill and trying to get into it on the outside they're racing down inside the final half for on it, San Jose Buddy, who's still a length and a half clear, doesn't look like he's going to stop, this is going to be all the village here, right up towards the line, it's going to be San Jose Buddy that takes it, spectacular second, then Big Swizzle McGill and Kinvara Windmill ran on again, and Limelight was the last one to finish, and Vinnie Gerard takes the two mile handicap hurdle by a good three lengths with San Jose Buddy, spectacular trying to lead all the way couldn't quite hang on. So San Jose Buddy wins it for Vinnie Gerard. Spectacular for Joshua Sutherland was second. Big Swizzle Alex Cherry third. Magellan Kevin Meathan fourth. And Kinvara Windmill was fifth.